Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about the Stone Slammer, the new siege machine, relatively new in Clash of Clans. Here's some cool way to use it. Uh, looking at some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 replays, applies to any Town Hall level you have access to it, that's Town Hall 10 through 12. Some interesting, unique ways to use it that uh, you guys may or may not have seen before. So. The Stone Slammer is very versatile, much more so than the other Siege Machines. There's lots of different ways to use it, and we're going to be going through highlighting some of them uh, using the attacks from the One Hive Genesis, One Hive War. Good war to One Hive. They came out just on top, very close war. Our season's uh, coming to an end here, but uh, it was a fun season, not going to make the playoffs, but I think it was something that it was definitely not like a depressing season because all the wars were like so close to be honest besides maybe like one or two it was very close a lot of them so it happens we'll move on but the focus of this video of course the stone slammer and this is one nice use of it uh, opening up walls for a queen charge that is something that uh, is a very powerful use of it uh, town hall 10 town hall 11 even town hall 12 and the reason it's better in a lot of times than a wall wrecker well, there's a lot of reasons. Let's kind of go through them. First of all, it opens up more walls. Um, it's not just like a one or, you know, the wall wrecker opens up maybe like three walls. This opens up a ton of walls. Um, better chance your queen or whatever is actually being funneled in, if it's something like a kill squad even, uh, will go into the base. So it opens things up wider. Also targets defenses. The wall wrecker doesn't explicitly target defenses. It might take them out along the way, but the stone slammer, of course, will get more defenses because it actually targets them. That's the second reason. Uh, third is that even if the town hall is not opposite where you're entering, you can still use it. So uh, the wall wrecker, you have to go in uh, opposite the town hall. You have to use wherever the town hall is placed. The stone slammer, you can use it anywhere. It just targets defenses. That's the only pathing you have to worry about. Um, then the last reason, I guess this is the fourth reason, is that if there's not much air coverage, it can actually last a lot longer than the wall wrecker would. So those are a lot of different benefits for it. And situationally of course it can be a lot better for a queen charge or even certain kill squads to open up pathing open up walls then you can put balloons or valks or whatever your favorite troop is to jump out in front of your queen or in front of your kill squad maybe even some ice golems that'd be cool uh, let's move along though to the next one we want to take a look at number five starting off with just a few of their attacks then we'll switch on to some of ours uh, give both clans some love here and they used an el primo which was kind of funny uh, for this attack i guess it was fair game everything but the bat spell was fair game and let me say this before we get too far into the video because i know some people will be thinking it the stone slammer can definitely be used in the town hall 10 dragon bat spell attack I made a video on it actually, so check that video out if you want to see some of those replays. I'm not showing any of them in this war, uh, partially because the bat spell was not allowed in this war just to uh, avoid kind of having a weird like Town Hall 10 spam uh, war. I think the meta is still adjusting, so we went ahead and kind of went old school, no bat spells, but everything else was fair game. So if you're interested in looking at some of those attacks and you haven't yet seen my video on the dragon bat spell attack at Town Hall 10. It is the most powerful Town Hall 10 attack. Be sure to check it out if you're a Town Hall 10. Uh, that being said, this next use of the Stone Slammer um, is kind of subtle, but I also like it. It's, um, if I remember this replay correctly, it's just using it as like a big balloon. But there, you have to be careful exactly how you use it. Take advantage not only of the damage, but also of the hit points. So let it tank. Um, a mistake that can be made is just sending it in behind like a lava hound. You want to get the value not only of the damage, but also of the fact that it can tank a lot. It does like twice the hit points of a battle blimp. So right here, uh, puts a nice balloon down to test for seeking air mines. Might have already seen on a replay that they were there. But look, tanking two expos, a wizard tower, archer tower, and it can do just fine. It can soak up traps. If anything, it was a little late because some of the balloons had to go on a detour to kind of help with those defenses. But it did very well on its own. And then as it dies here, a bunch of balloons, I believe, or maybe even electro dragon, uh, will pop out. Or I think it does pop, but we'll see as we go on. Um, but that's a great use. Just using it as a balloon, that's one of the nice things. Because sometimes you try to force the siege machine into an attack. You might be thinking, okay, how do I use the battle blimp? Uh, with the town hall positioned as it is, uh, don't overthink it. If um, 
you can just use this, a stone slammer and you don't have to worry about where the town hall is. That's the power of the siege machine. It does not have any ties to the town hall, so therefore people can't mess up the uh, the angle of, of the entry of, the, of whatever siege machine you use. So uh, as you can see there, there were balloons in it in this case, which is always a good choice uh, to insert some balloons into the middle of the base. You're getting like value of one huge balloon, then a bunch of max balloons. So this was a nice town hall 11 attack. That may have been what won them the war, is that they were better 11v11. I think we actually were slightly better 10v10, but the 11v11 is what made the difference here. Then the 12s kind of finished it off, only three 12s uh, on each side this war. Okay, um, moving right along, we're going to look at a few more Town Hall 10 attacks. Um, but keep in mind, most of these can be translated to any of the three Town Hall levels where you have the Siege Machines. So here we go. This next use is, I guess, the battle blimp use, you can call it. It's using it as a Sui battle blimp, which, as you guys know, is a powerful thing. Either putting an Electro Dragon or balloons in the battle blimp and just letting it go. Um, this case, you used a Stone Slammer. And now, why do you use the Stone Slammer instead of the battle blimp? Because um, we talked about why do we use the Stone Slammer instead of the Wall Wrecker for Queen Charges and stuff. Well, in this case, the benefits over the battle blimp, once again, you are not you don't have to worry about the town hall angle. Now, in this case, funny enough, the battle blimp would have taken the exact same pathing by coincidence, but generally speaking, you don't have to worry about the town hall angle. So that's definitely a plus of the, of the stone slammer. It's more versatile because of that. Also, it takes out defenses along the way. Sometimes you would have to send in a few trailing balloons when you used your, uh, sorry, I'm mixing up the names. When you used your battle blimp, you'd have to send in a few trailing balloons. With the stone slammer, it takes out defenses along the way. As long as the pathing is there, it can take out defenses along the way. That way you're getting much more value because whatever pops out now takes, on, takes out new defenses in addition to what the stone slammer already got. The only drawbacks are sometimes the defensive pathing won't actually lead into the middle of the base towards the inferno tower or the queen or wherever you're trying to actually get towards the middle of those valuable things. That's one downside, and kind of branching off of that, it, it doesn't move as quickly because it stops for defenses. The Battle Blimp will get farther in, and it'll give you a more predictable pathing. The Stone Slammer, a little less predictable, but more powerful, and can get more value if it's there, if the defenses line up correctly. So keep that in mind. Um, if there's a bunch of defenses that can target air stuff, sometimes the Battle Blimp's a better choice because it just kind of cuts through in a direct path and it'll get you that value you want, especially for like an Electron attack where you want to get the Queen. If the Queen's deep in the base, sometimes the Stone Slammer is less reliable. Um, but we will take a look at an attack that also uses the Electron. This had the balloons in the CC. Um, we will look at one that also has the Electro Dragon in the CC, another popular thing to do at pretty much every Town Hall level. First, one more along the same line. We're actually going to take a look at one of my attacks, then one of my defenses, which unfortunately was my only defense, <laughs> which wasn't a defense, I was actually three-starred, so how about that? Um, but one more attack from One Hive Genesis, actually two more, uh, we'll kind of bounce around a little bit. But this next one, similar use, but this highlights it even better, the value of the Stone Slammer over the Battle Blimp. Now let me pause for a quick second. Once again, the Battle Blimp pathing actually would be the same. We're going towards this uh, multi-inferno. The Battle Blimp would also do that because the Town Hall is over here, but all these defenses along the way uh, would not be taken out necessarily. The Battle Blimp would skip over them. So here, the Stone Slammer is going to path pretty much the same towards that multi-inferno, but it'll get a lot more value along the way. And of course, there are a few loons to kind of support here um, to make sure it paths correctly. And, and right here actually was kind of close because this cannon could have drawn it away. But it does go to the Inferno, fortunately. And here, the difference is all these defenses would not have been down if it was the Battle Blimp. You could argue a few balloons trailing, okay, maybe. But this type of value, all these defenses, that would not be done. So that's the power of the Stone Slammer. And it even gets one hit on the Inferno. So the balloons, they pop out. They just get extra defenses that wouldn't even be in question if it was the uh, Battle Blimp being used. So they grab an extra Wizard Tower. They get one Wizard Tower towards the bottom very low. Then, you know, pretty much the same type of attack from here on out that we've seen for months now uh, since the Sui Battle Blimp was a thing. Using the heroes, they're going to follow it up with a Laloon and a Skelly Spell for the Queen here.
Um, so this will fast forward a little bit just for sake of time, but uh, La Lune Pathing was good enough, enough balloons, enough spells, even though all four air defenses are actually still up. So uh, this works out nicely here, and the queen goes down. That freeze actually wasn't even necessary because the balloons dropped uh, some of their bombs on the queen, got that splash damage on her. So anyway, just enough balloons to finish off this base, and I wish my first attack was as good as this one, uh, but, you know, what can you do? So we'll fast forward towards the end and then take a look at what we got. Um, two more attacks to show that I think are also great, um, make great points about the new Stone Slammer. So one of my defenses, here we go, got to show it. Uh, maybe not the best base this war I put up. This was a fresh hit, and unfortunately my base got crushed. I actually was, uh, when I built this base, I was thinking about defending the Bat Spell, and then later we learned we weren't going to use the Bat Spell for this war, so... Oh well. Um, anyway, here comes the Stone Slammer, and it gets some amazing value here. A few balloons to tank, soak up some Seeking Air Mines, and then Alk jumps an Electro Dragon, does a double clone, so it gets a ton of balloons coming out. There was just one originally inside the CC, but double clones... So it has like a solid like 8, 9, I don't even know how many balloons. Plus that Electro Dragon gets some nice value because a bunch of these buildings are touching. And it will take out a solid 40% of the defenses. Not 40% of the base, um, but I, I'd say about 40% of the defenses are down. And then from there, it's a typical uh, La Luna attack with the Sui heroes. One thing I like that kind of goes unappreciated sometimes, I guess you could say, is that... There was a baby dragon backing it up. That was to cut the funnel for the heroes because you want to use your heroes on like along the side. That way, uh, you're not leaving any like weird defenses that mess up the balloon pathing. You want to use them right on the edge of where defenses were taken out and where defenses still are, right on that border. So the baby dragon cuts the funnel behind the electro dragon in that whole push to force the heroes one way, which was nice. Um, but gets like this Tesla farm kind of taken out uh, with the heroes to some extent. Gets some of the Teslas. And then just two hounds, some hastes, or actually three hounds. Uh, I mean, think about it. He has a lot of troop space left because it was just a, a, a stone slammer filled with uh, Electro Dragon and some cloned balloons. So really no troop space of his own was actually used in that initial push besides like some funneling and some balloons and stuff. So a lot of uh, troop space left which is another, you know, it's part of the power of the Stone Slammer. If you think about it, for that type of attack, you're putting down a lot of a lot of force. We're talking a Stone Slammer, which can do a lot on its own, plus whatever's inside, plus whatever's cloned off of whatever's inside. That's not any actual troop space of your own in your own army camps. So whatever that gets, um, everything else that you have minus your CC and your spells can be put forward to the rest of the base. So that's very, uh, very powerful. Um, one more attack. Uh, apologies ahead of time for showing a attack on one of these lower level bases. There are a few like non-max tens that are always in these wars towards the bottom. And um, of course it's easier to three star these bases, but that does not detract very much from the, the scale of this attack. And I think it's a very unique attack in that it demonstrates one way to use the Stone Slammer that we haven't seen yet. And I think this is kind of a funny use for it, but it is it is to some extent just when you don't have anything else to use a Siege Machine for, this is kind of a creative way to get it involved, not just drop down like a meaningless CC to actually get some value from the Siege Machines you have access to. So here, the believe it or not, the Stone Slammer will actually kind of play the role of a Hog Rider it'll just kind of be sent in along with the hogs. And because there's not really any air defenses in the area, it just kind of goes along targets defenses like any normal hog would. It also can tank a little bit if you put it out in front. Of course, it has more hit points than your typical hog rider, uh, obviously. And we'll see the value it gets here. The queen's going to have to get through the defensive queen as well as the CC. Uh, one thing, keep an eye right before you switch over to looking at the hog riders. Keep an eye on the queen for a moment because look at the range of this ice golem freeze she is pretty far away from it but she still gets frozen she walks into it the last second 
that's some pretty solid range on the ice golem in the CC. But here we go. Um, unfortunately, there was a Seeking Air Mine right there, which takes about a third of its hit points. But um, it'll kind of just start plowing through. It tanks, um, making it so he can delay the heal spell deployment a little bit. And it's just going to kind of move along. Now, unfortunately, one of the air sweepers starts pushing on it. So it just kind of has to slowly make its way through. But it's probably better than sending in a CC, like an, just a regular CC of hogs, or even a wall wrecker, because it's actually dealing damage. It's not just tanking, it's dealing damage. And although it's a little bit slow, we'll see in the end here, there's some pretty good value from it, because all these hogs start to go down to the king, the skelly traps, there's a lot of damage and uh, anti-hog type stuff on the back end of this base, but there's not a whole lot of anti air, believe it or not, on the back end. So as these hogs peter out, the stone slammer still goes strong, and the, and the king and the skellies, of course, can't really do a whole lot to mess with it. It even opens up some walls for the queen as she eventually moves through for cleanup, which was kind of funny. Um, so it's just kind of opening doors everywhere. It's an unusual, an unusual looking hog rider for sure. Um, when these are all sitting in the army camp before the attack, I'm sure there were some some questions as to, you know, what is this thing that's going to be used as a hog rider? It doesn't quite look like one. But regardless, it can kind of serve that purpose if the attack calls for it. And then finally he deploys it, I guess, you know, probably not a huge difference. It's still just a lot of damage, but the hogs also do a lot of damage. And yeah, there were some max hog riders. They didn't come out as soon as uh, he might have planned, but why send them out when you have an air troop that can get just as much value? Um, I guess if it's a time issue, you might need to, but uh, very, very nice use of the Stone Slammer there. I was a fan of this attack. So that will do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed some creative ways to use the Stone Slammer. Be sure to check out my Dragon uh, Bat Spell video if you haven't already for another way to use the Stone Slammer at Town Hall 10 specifically. But that will do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bisectatron out.